So I'm gonna tell a little story about the origin of these sunglasses and why I'm so excited. Um, it was early summer of 2013. I was in San Francisco with my friend Chris. We were there to rate some beer and go to a Giants versus Phillies game. Um, we went to the Oakley store. He had, we went to the Oakley store because he had actually forgotten his sunglasses in New Hampshire, and we were going to be at a ballpark, you know, most of the day. So we ended up um, when the Oakley store to buy him some new glasses. And I had never worn sunglasses after I left Florida because there's not much UV light in New Hampshire. But I've always been a fan of sunglasses. I grew up with my dad, basically always wearing them. And um, but I had prescription, you know, prescription. So you know, the only way sunglasses work for me is if I wore contacts, which, you know, was, was rare because I was sitting at a computer desk all day looking at my computer screen. So contacts weren't actually very good for me. I preferred wearing glasses. So, um, either way, long story short here, uh, went into the Oakley store with him. I was looking around and I fell in love with these sunglasses. I was just amazed by them. So these are the, um, the Oakley Carbon Blade uh, Ferrari Edition. I don't really get into the whole Ferrari clothing thing, but um, the Ferrari Edition had the red iridium uh, lenses. What you see here is black iridium. So, and I think I, those of you who saw my uh, Tale of the Dragon, Wookiees in the Woods video, has heard the story already. And that was back in March of this year, or last year. But anyway, uh, try them on. I found out there's a prescription version, so as soon as I get back to New Hampshire, I go to the, my eye, eye doctor, and asked them to order me a pair. Well, they put an order in. I think the prescription version of these uh, frames, the frames were 380 and the lenses were like 250 or $300. Uh, very expensive purchase. But back in the day, back in 2013 to 2014, uh, I was making about double what I make now. So my salary got cut in half uh, a couple years ago when I lost a really big client. Um, not worth recounting that, at least not for the next 10 years until my NDA is up. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I spent the $600 on the glasses. Uh, but after they were ordered, the eye care place called me and said, sorry, but in your prescription, you can't get red iridium. You have to get uh, black iridium. Uh, and I almost canceled my order because it wasn't just the, the carbon fiber and the shape of the glasses that I love the most. It was the color of the lenses. So fast forward, um, I received some of, I was on the, on the web and I, I saw a, an article about red iridium being available in more prescriptions. I wasn't looking for it. I just came across it as a, in a random, um, uh, I don't know where I saw it, but anyway, this was a couple months ago. So, uh, when I got my, uh, I got looked at my savings account. I had done pretty well the past few months with savings. So I went to my eye doctor again and I said, I love my frames. Um, but I want to get the red iridium lenses. Uh, so they put my prescription in. Thank God they were finally available. So it was two forty nine dollars is what I spent uh, on the new lenses. And uh, they just came in. So this is the last time I wear the black iridium lenses. They're gonna, I'm going to take them in with the frame. They're going to clean up the frame up, put the new lenses on, and hopefully they'll look much, much better. So really looking forward to that. Um, and, and I'll do an update video afterwards. One additional side story before I turn this camera off was that on a trip to Belgium in 2014, I actually lost the, or I left the, these come with a, a Ferrari red bag, um, and they also come with a red leather case with a Ferrari logo on it. I lost the red leather case, left it on an airplane or something. So I emailed Oakley, offered it, asking to buy a new one, and their answer was, we only make one Ferrari case for each pair of glasses we sell. And again, back to my story of I was doing much better financially at that time. Uh, I ended up going to Oakley's website and buying a non-prescription pair of the Carbon Blade glasses uh, for like three fifty. I think was the time when I paid for them. Um, after they were, they were they were a year older at that point, so the price had come down a little bit. And I paid three fifty for a new pair of glasses. I put the glasses um, in a to, uh, like a generic Oakley case and then I started using the red leather box again <laughs> I was just so happy to have the red leather box again. it looks so good I love red and black uh, a lot so so um, that's a side note but then again I was making more money back then but if I ever break this um, these frames uh, I have a backup pair of carbon blade frames that I can use at any point that are in storage so yeah and actually one last thing I'll show you guys and these are prescriptions so I can't take my glasses off 
for too long here. One of the main things I'm gonna get fixed today, as you can see here, the, uh, the top of the glasses, the glass is actually starting to crack. So obviously the new uh, red iridium lenses won't have that problem. Uh, but next clip, you'll be able to see the, um, the new glasses. So I'm looking forward to showing them to you guys. Very excited to finally get red iridium from the black. I know it's ridiculous, but uh, I'm just pretty stoked. Oh, and also the red iridium has the Ferrari logo at the bottom corner and the black iridium does not. So that's another little extra addition there because the red iridium is exclusive to the Ferrari, uh, the three Ferrari sunglasses they make. So as you can tell, I'm very excited. I know it's a stupid video to post, but uh, just just stoked to finally get that done. So in total in the last, <laughs> last three years, I bought two Ferrari carbon blade glasses and I've bought two prescription carbon blade lenses <laughs> so a little absurd I know but uh, it, it's a it's a it's one thing I've really uh, enjoyed uh, having and owning and I get lots of compliments on them for how cool they look from from strangers so they are uh, they are wonderful sunglasses okay uh, let's cut now okay false alarm the uh, the guy that that did the order for me for my frames or for my lenses for my carbon blades he ordered uh these are my old lenses he ordered another color another uh set of black iridium lenses <laughs> so i dropped my glasses off at this place came back in a couple hours came back a couple hours later and he he brought my glasses out it looked exactly the same and i said i'm not trying to be a dick but do you guys think i would have ordered replacement lenses to replace my ones that weren't broken that were the exact same color so he had to call back and it'll be another week before my red iridiums come in so i'll wait to upload this video until after the reds come in ruby sorry they're called ruby iridium technically uh so to be continued i guess okay it's been a week since my last video update so it's now the uh tuesday the 28th and we are going to pick up the ruby iridium glass lenses for my Oakleys. Okay, here they are. This is the uh, Ruby Iridium, which if you order the Carbon Blade Ferrari's uh, stock, it comes with these lenses, except they're much thinner in the non-prescription model, obviously, because prescription adds some thickness. But uh, they finally match. I love the reflection in them. Let's give them a try on. Oh yeah, beautiful. <laughs> So some initial thoughts on these things is they are, um, they let in slightly more light than the black ones. It's 14% is the, uh, the ambient light um, allowed through. Everything is a little bit yellower, but I like them a lot. I've been waiting three years for these lenses, so it's nice to finally have them. So love them. They look great. Um, the only downside is they don't have the Ferrari logo etched in the side, but that's the only thing missing about them is that everything else about them is just like the ones that come with the glasses except these are thicker and no Ferrari logo, but to be honest, I'm okay without it. 